Hello my dear friends, I welcome you in this video and today we will go and check what will I find in thrift stores. Today I'm wearing my warm velvet dusty pink costume and look what I found. It's Harry Potter magic. I believe it's merch from the Harry Potter store and uh, probably it's uh, part of uh, the pyjama set and uh, I would wear it not only at home maybe I will make uh, some combo looks with this amazing shirt it's written that it belonged to Gryffindor or something like this uh, so really magical charming pyjama set uh, pyjama short I mean and uh, I'm absolutely in love with Harry Potter. I grew up with this film and uh, even for the Harry Potter party it will be nice to put on as part of the costume and decorate it with uh, the hat. And uh, let's see what else I found. This uh, charming uh, top with very bright embroidery. Uh, so probably uh, you should wear it like being naked because this uh, provocative uh, embroidery on this top um, like on the runway show they wore it maybe under the jacket without underwear I'm not this provocative uh, person especially for my current lifestyle so I cannot afford myself to wear these uh, bright tops and uh, in my opinion um, it's uh, not, not suitable for my wardrobe so I left it back uh, this um, shirt uh, polo shirt uh, I was looking for something like this in old money style unfortunately it's dark it's in black color and uh, the color decorated uh, these uh, uh, buttons and um, only the color I think uh, not 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 go well with my tone of skin and my hair uh, it's better to choose something uh, light color closer to your face and maybe dark color on down there so I left it back in the store but if only the color was blue or maybe neutral uh, I would like to buy something like this because it's so complimentary for my uh, clothes and especially for necklaces it's really nice to wear a necklace with this color this is Roberta Cavalli jeans uh, it's a bit old and loved by the previous owner uh, the um, probably it comes from uh, 2000s and uh, the back pockets decorated with snakes and uh, tweed pocket on the back uh, so it's uh, true fashion of uh, old years all 2000s and uh, somebody really was rocking in these jeans and uh, these trousers unfortunately not well made it and the material is cheap and the main things in trousers is good wool this found by Diane von Fustenberg it's the very first thing I found by this designer it's famous it's 100% silk it's well made but unfortunately this blouse it's a bit tired from um, um, previous user <laughs> yeah and even I found uh, some kind of hole closer to the neck but the design is uh, pretty creative especially the silk touch of the material is um, comfy And uh, this is Gary Weber, uh, maybe from 80s or early 90s. 
uh, because of the shoulders and this uh, color in style of 1970s. I really like this color. Probably it's silk, but unfortunately there were no tag uh, with composition. And I like this style because of uh, B. Jones style channel. I recently I'm absolutely falling in love with uh, her style, her way how she dress up and uh, she always buying clothes from 70s, especially trousers and uh, shirts like this uh, with patterns or with bright colors with such a color and um, it goes well for styling uh, clothes in Gucci style. I love Gucci. I love uh, all they make in so it will be bright accent in my wardrobe and really nice combination with uh, suits especially uh, so I decided to buy this shirt and this is true disco uh, first of all I like the buttons unfortunately these buttons uh, were not metal uh, it's uh, plastic um, and uh, the material itself it's really synthetic like crazily synthetic that it's even not comfortable to wear uh, because of uh, lyrics in this material but for certain events or maybe for costume party it will go well and uh, especially belted I see this blouse belted with uh, chain belt or maybe even two, two row belts and uh, this is another style I never tried before, but I fall in love with patterns. It's also a lesson from B. John style. She uh, always choosing bright patterns, bright colors. And this is example of good pattern on the blouse because it's bright and uh, the um, pattern is uh, so little that concentrated uh, on um uh, small um small flowers i think yeah so it's really nice it's another example of the uh, pattern and it's more geometric and uh, color is also nice unfortunately these two blouses are synthetic uh but uh the style itself is italian so uh they pretty fit me uh, especially I like these colors um, it's really nice it's uh, eye catching and it will be nice for combination with skirts especially or also in style of 70s I think it will go well with midi, midi skirt and uh, this uh, shirt is also silky it's eye-catching because of these uh, bright stripes in pink uh, different uh, colors of pink it will go well to my wardrobe it's uh, really um, almost um, like cloud on your body because of the very good silk and uh, look at the color it's also style of 1970s. Uh, it will go well for summer. It will go well mm, to wear it openly, like um, as um, second uh, shirt, or maybe to wear on top of the tank. And um, um, this is amazing woolen. Um, I think it's pullover but you can wear it on top of the shirt or maybe under the blazer uh, the material itself uh, is alpaca it's really soft and when I put it on I absolutely fall in love because uh, of the soft touch on your skin it's so comfortable you don't want to take it off and uh, look at the central pattern uh, it's uh, really interestingly made it it's knitted but at the same time um, it's woolen t-shirt it will be um, good uh, part of my wardrobe I bought it 
but uh, this uh, cotton knitted t-shirt I didn't buy uh, because of uh, material it looked cheap when I put it on the color itself is a bit uh, peachy and uh, sometimes this peach color Mm, or beige color yeah it's more beige uh, beige color close to your face make you look tired or even sometimes it looks like you are naked it's a really <laughs> strange thing especially be careful with trousers of such a beige color and uh, yeah i try to avoid these colors sometimes it looks universal to combine with any color in your wardrobe but uh, sometimes it looks naked and dangerous <laughs> and this is another vintage 100% silk but the pattern itself is boring mm, some kind of flowers in squares but the sequence is too small and when I put it on I look like uh, my grandma or grandpa so it looks more like men's t-shirt and uh, the pattern itself uh, looks cheap. Uh, so it's not easy job to find the right pattern to combine with. And I like the idea to combine different patterns in one look. Uh, so that's why I'm looking for some kind of interesting shirts. And this is my true diamond that I found that day. Uh, it's a uh, kid mahair pullover. Uh, with charming pearl buttons. I like uh, this uh, uh, color. So it starts from light gray and go going uh, down to the dark gray. I like the length and this pullover is very light but at the same time uh, is warm because of the kid mohair. Uh, this material uh, comes from 90s or 80s the tack is really old but the condition is really nice it's it's almost new jacket a uh, new pullover so i bought it for myself and uh, i'm so excited to wear it soon and this is in a more underwear um, looks like silk but uh, this uh, shirt is a bit tired because of uh, the sleeves, uh, so probably uh, the the sleeves um, soon will um, break it down. Maybe I don't know. I decided do not buy this uh, tired shirt, but uh, for home it will be nice to wear it for sleeping or wear it at home. And this is uh, Twin Set by Simona Barberi, but unfortunately it's absolutely transparent, so you can't, can't wear it uh, alone. You, you have to combine it with something else, and there is no reason to buy this clear thing. And uh, this is another old money style pullover. Uh, but look at the color something happened maybe uh, it's uh, chopped maybe it's um, I don't know what happened to this color it's also man's uh, pullover so I I like the color it's not this uh, beige that looks uh, like your skin it's really warm beige uh, it goes well to my face but this color is uh, full disappointment for me so i decided do not fix it i decided to leave it back in store and maybe somebody else will be happy this find i always recommend you to put attention on small details because only if you wash it you will understand that uh, the material will break or maybe it's it will comes with holes or even buttons can be lost and uh, i want to thank you for watching this video 
and uh, this evening I've spent um, ice skating now in Moscow is so snowy so I wish you to be excited for New Year's and Christmas and see you in my next videos all the blessings bye bye